Hello? 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 Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Let me first and foremost greet the senior citizens in this municipality and uh, greet all the residents in the municipality on behalf of the collective here in front and uh, thank you for welcoming us to this beautiful city. Uh, we are here as an ad hoc multi-party ad hoc committee of parliament. We have come to the people of uh, West Honoria, not to ourselves as political parties representative in parliament, but as political parties represented in parliament, we have come here as a collective, we have agreed on the rules that uh, we are going to follow as this collective in front. And we also want to thank you that all political parties on the ground have their leaders here and therefore we are going to rely on yourselves to uh, maintain order because uh, we were told you are very respectful people, you respect yourselves, you respect others, and I'm also happy to see that uh, there are uh, white people in this gathering because uh, we were taught by the founding father of our republic, uh, our icon, an international icon, Nelson Ralutata Mandela, that South Africa belongs to all who live in it, black, both black and white. Eric we are very... Eric President Mandela taught us that we are nothing else but you are servant because you are the people. Uri Malata, Tota Tota, 
And that's why we came here with a well-qualified parliamentary staff that are sitting there to capture everything that you say uh, so that we don't misrepresent you when we go to parliament. And in this meeting, all of you and what each one of you says carries the same weight and we are going to listen to all of you without any discrimination. But uh, our leaders have taught us that no meeting can be properly constituted and proceed unless we sing our national anthem. But I am vocally wounded and I rely on you talented people to start the national anthem. Ne yeah. oh. uh, sorry, hello. Oh, there's a sound system. No, there's no. Where? Uh, we uh, just bear with us. We have a. Uh, a system that will help us. Uh, no, uh, okay. Okay. Uh, sorry, sorry, it's sorted out. It's sorted out. We will uh, request uh, all of you to stand up and men. Men must take off their heads. Uh, and uh, this is uh, an international year of women. We want uh, one of the ladies with a good voice to lead us in a national anthem. Uh, uh, someone started a song there. Where, where is that? Ringo. He might know the African Can we sing? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we hello, hello. We will, we will do it. We will do it from here.
Hello? Hello? I, I am only facilitating the proceedings on behalf of the collective in front of here. Everything that I'm going to do here is by agreement by all of us. But also, there are other leaders of political parties amongst us. So uh, I am going to give each one of them to introduce themselves uh, because I know you are self-respecting people, you respect your leaders, and you will also respect the agreements that we have uh, reached as this collective in front and also reached with your agreements because the highest respect must go to the people that elected us into the municipalities, into the provincial legislatures, and into parliament. We would not be honorable members unless ordinary people stood in the queues until midnight to elect them. So those are the people that Nelson Mandela said we must serve and we are the servant of those people. So we must continue to respect uh, those people that we are here to serve. Now where I... Moholi, Makoko Anzimfa, Kin Nakita Benki Zamai Saditirahano, Me, Tretong Willingwe, Ridumalani Kahum with Kakakabum with Fela Japulu, Nalibon, Jaka Liritopile, Kokobo Maspala, Laratopa, Ko di Provincing, Laratopa, Bosichaba, Liritopile Hore, Rona, Rene, Batanka Balona, Faika Bene Sekalona, Le Mimi la Emile, La Yahore Topa, Recabor Sanafa, Miss Sumele Singwe, Tretong Willingwe, Ekizayang, Rudumela Nefela Root. And I think uh, you want to hear your representatives speaking for themselves. So I'm going to give them an opportunity to introduce themselves, starting on my right. When I'm done with the uh, head table, I'm going to get other leaders who are sitting on the floors to do the same. They are not sitting on the floor because they are less equal. It's just that uh, the process is uh, limiting us. And I hand over to the first uh, leader at the head table. Molueni. Dumelang. Lina Laka ke kosi zuelvelele mandel. Que le loco la comité ya ad hoc comité on the amendment of section 25. Ibile kimudula stulo wa comité ya agriculture, land reform and rural development. Kialebo. Molweni, di ngunoli ta ndobongwana, di lilungu la le komiti isekwe i parlamente, ukoba i chongane nukulungi sa u section 25 wamka kosi seko weli zoletu. Di kwa ngusalo we komiti ka public works and infrastructure pa i parlamente diabulel. I'm Professor Dr. Matole Mutsecha. 
I'm the chairperson of the ad hoc committee and uh, also the co-chairperson of the Constitutional Review Committee of uh, Parliament. I thank you. Dumela Mbakaitu. Kilna Dibulelo Masadzi. Kilelo Gola Committee A, Section 25. Ebile kile lokola committee agriculture land reform and rural development ke a leboga Dumelang lotlhe ke bidiwa Dr Mimi Gondwe ke le lokola committee e ke be ke nna le lokola constitutional review committee le joint standing committee on intelligence ke a leboga Dumelang ba esu Lina Laka, Kenwana Makwete, Rene Lue, Mashabe, Keleluko, La Parliament, Aubuye, Mushaba, Aubuye, Realinyaka, Lefasi, Realinyaka. We have uh, other leaders sitting in front here. I will ask them to equally introduce themselves. Member of Parliament, the Committee of Public Enterprise. Amanda! Amanda! Is it? I Africa, e Moloeni, e Ikamana Mdingum Tinichuaku, member of the of the portfolio committee in public works and infrastructure, e committee in Mumalame, Nezo, Neze building and no Nezindo Ezo Zomshab, e Amanda, thank you. Amanda! Amanda! Umshaba! Muluento. Ika mongu majingos. Dili lungu le parliament and dimele kwe zonkubeko, kwe komiti ye zonkubeko, umtula na yonki ndu. Tabule. Jaka le sasili boni. Kimaluku a komiti ya nakwana. Eta bing itla ho seka seka morero owa section 25. Bose chaba. Rebore na le maluku amanga ilu khorle wana ke maluku a a komiti ke ba itredi pili rebaro na rabaiti rebato pili. The parliament of the republic has ensured that it sends to you the best qualified people to capture what you say. And therefore, it is very important that uh, when anyone is speaking, there is no noise because otherwise, if they don't hear what you are saying, you will be misquoted in parliament. And we don't want a parliament that represent, misrepresent the residents and the voters. Now, we have also agreed as this collective and the leadership of all political parties that because each and every one of you is equally important, and uh, we cannot allow one person to speak for the whole day. We decided to bring people who were good in arithmetic at school to uh, monitor the time so that each speaker is given three minutes and uh, I am subject to their decision. When they say the three minutes is over, even me as the chairperson, I have to listen. 
I cannot overrule them. So I act on their instructions, and that is by agreement of all of us seated here. So each one of you is going to get uh, three minutes, and when the three minutes is over, then it's over. Uh, the other agreement by all of us is that uh, we take 10 speakers at a go, and uh, when the 10 names are exhausted, then we take the next. But now, before we come to that, if a deal, a ben Nahorketsweto, Eris Eri, Moelemoe, Utlohonella Chono, Yahubua, Mesozo, Elemerar, Me Contemfella, Riloho Simula Cahosaya, Di Bui, Di Lele Some, Mary Zohore, Tuelo Yamoelemoe, Ibuto, Qua, Cantahorjaka and Zijana Cafa, Rotere Atwana, Ibile, Realigan. We also brought with us well qualified interpreters and who understand your languages. You are free to use any language of your choice, it will be properly interpreted provided there's no noise from any quarter. Rena le gape ba rutegi ka moletso go nna ka la la moja ba eleng gore ke ba rano le udi go tswa ko parliamenteng ba ba tlhaloganyang dipuo ba eleng gore sengwe le sengwe se ya leng go se bua ba tle go se tlhagisa ja ka le se tlhagisitse as we are sitting here uh, we sit under and in terms of the spirit and letter of the constitution of the Republic of South Africa. Uh, this constitution says to us that uh, our constitutional democracy is both part, uh, representative and participatory. democracy in terms of representative democracy, you, the people, have the right to elect people to represent you in councils, in the provincial legislature, and in parliament. democracy, <laughs> Le tope puso ya provinsi, libo le tope li puso ya bosechaba. But uh, that right to send people to those three spheres of, of uh, 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 legislatures doesn't mean that the people that we have sent to those legislatures command the monopoly of wisdom. Se ha sere hore jaka ile lona le tlhophile mbatho mo maphateng a mararo re setseng re buile ka 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 ona ha sere hore ba ba leng go godimo ke bona ba tshwanelang ke hore ba ba re tlele ka ka ditshwetso simply because we cannot all go to parliament ke fela gore re a itse gore rotlhe ga re ka ka ra ya rotlhe go parliament that's why there are certain decisions that we cannot take without coming to you, the people. And during the fifth parliament, we were sent as the Constitutional Review Committee to traverse the whole country to talk to the people of this country. Ka ka puso ya ka ka puso ya ya parliament ya botlhano 
re ne ra romelwa re le committee e se ka sekang molaotheo me re ne ra tsamayana ga yotlhe e le gore re ile go batla dikakanyo tsa baagi the mandate was simple and straightforward it was namely whether or not you the people desire that section 25 of the constitution should be amended tumo ine tlamaletsi ibile e totobetse ine e tobile lona baagi gore lona le bue gore a ke karolwana e ya molaotheo ya bo 25 a ke e e ka fetolwa na the overwhelming majority of the people said to parliament yes we want such an amendment bontse jo lona baagi la re e ra dumela re batla gore phetogo eo inneti now in terms of the constitution we had to start to get now a, front, a fresh mandate to give effect to what you said. Relay committee, retile jana, retile khubata janung, tomo enchwa. Now this sixth parliament therefore established an ad hoc committee, members of which are seated in front here. Parliament of Rataro in a Yataka committee and Aquana make a Jacalibona Maloko and Zimfa, Kibona by Lukorbatosa Maisa, Morero. And said, Now go to the people who said they want the amendment. Barile, Zamaya, Lenko Batung, Lehuka, the Petro Hosabato Badibata. To ask what form and content should the amendment take go re phetogo e inne ya mothale kgotsa inne ya ya mofuta ofe so today we have not come to ask you whether or not we should amend the constitution we have come to you to say what do you want to see in the amended section 25 of the constitution Humpiano Hartlo Holy Bolsa Hore, Refetule Fokai, Ritlo Hutamoholona Hore, King Celebatan Hore, Sintiwe, Fasin Sitwe, Seca, Hokat and Wayne Hap. We are doing that in terms of the spirit and letter of the Constitution. Miridiraseo Camono, Wamalao Teo. So we are happy to be here. So going forward, as I said, I'm going to facilitate the proceedings in terms of the rules agreed by the head table and the leaders of all political parties here present. And there are members of parliament sitting uh, amongst you who are going to make sure that uh, the speakers get there 10 at a time. And those people have more powers than me because when they say, don't do this, it means it cannot be done. Even I cannot overrule them. So I'm also going to subject myself to the leadership in front here when you see them pulling me by the jacket, it means they are saying I'm out of order and I'm going to listen to them. So I'm 
Uh, now, we are going to be governed by the rule of fairness that uh, we give people that are here an opportunity to speak. Now, uh, by agreement, we take three names in front and three in the middle and three at the back. Uh, and uh, we also agreed that this is the International Year of Women and we are going to be biased towards women and senior citizens. Jaka ri dumelani le 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 committee ri tle go dirisa mono wa wa tshiamo wa tekatekanyo. Me fa ri simolla ri tle go simolla ka go batla batho ba le bararo mo pele ba le bararo mo garenyana mo le ba le bararo gape go morago kwa Mijanung kan tla gore monongwa ga e le ngwaga wa boditshaba tshaba wa bomme go tle go tlhopiwa gape le motho wa mme gore le ena tle go dira ditshwaelo tsa gago And if there are traditional leaders and traditional healers here they are equally entitled to participate we will give them an opportunity to do so Fa gona le ba etele dipele ba setso le dingaka tsa setso le bona ri tle go banela tshono ya gore le bona ba tle go dira ditshwaelo eh now we we are ready to start um uh, i want to start on uh we said i want to repeat we start in front go to the middle and go to the back. So I'm going to take three hands in front here. Yeah. Uh, I, I told you that I don't make my rules. We have agreed rules. I'm instructed now to start this side. Uh, there is uh, the hand, the first hand there. Uh, there's uh, yourself, yourself. Uh, there's the, the man with a cap. Rewa uh, kepese. There see a lady there, a woman. Khona le mutwa mefa le. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yourself, yeah. Yeah. Uh, now I go to the middle. Uh, I see that gentleman with a uh, grey sh shirt, and there's a lady in red uh, in the middle. Um, I see that yourself there in the middle, yeah. Uh, is there a white person there? Uh, I, I, I hate uh, calling people by color, but I, I hear that there's a colored lady, and um, Abdul Rahman, founder of uh, the African People's Organization, said African and colored are interchangeable. Uh, that lady there. With the, with the, yes, yourself, yeah. Uh, yeah, that, yeah, yes. No, oh, yes. Uh, 
Uh, how many do we have? Uh, we are left with two. I see uh, by the wall, I see four ladies dressed in uh, white. Uh, that, that slot there going back. Uh, no, I'm just saying they are giving me an indication as to where we are. I see a man waving a hat. Uh, you are recognized. Uh, who else? Uh, there's a gentleman there next to the mic. The, yeah, yes. Uh, that one there. How many do we have? Now we have uh, 10 from this side. Five, uh, from this side. Uh, so we are going to give them a hearing when we finish we are going to come to this side uh, Yes, uh, I didn't point uh, that gentleman here. Yeah. I, I pointed at that one, yes. I, I, that's the one that I recognized. Yeah. And uh, we want to make a request as this table that you are not addressing the people seated here. You are addressing parliament now. And therefore, don't look back. Talk into the mic so that what you say can be recorded by parliament. Otherwise, it would be like you are talking to the birds, and the birds are not representative of you in parliament. So uh, now we are proceeding. We take the first speaker. Diabulela Nkanasal. Aika Malam Walter Plaki. Dongo Chacho. Just took. Benditim na Benditala Uguti. Um Saba. Unigas. The Banduin. Nga Pans. The Wemali. Unga Bikomali. Ebizuayo. Dibona Apa. Kule. Chapter Leaga C, when Pepandil Pete, a little national legislature must subject to subsection two and three, set out specific circumstances, circumstances where a court may determine the amount of composition is needed. And I'm informed that we don't have uh, interpreters for Iskosa and Swati and Venda. Uh, uh, you see, if you say why, if you say, if you say why, uh, we don't have, uh, we only have uh, these languages, but, but you are free to use any language because whatever you say in whatever language will be recorded in parliament, we will translate what uh, you have uh, said. So please, let's proceed. 
My name is uh, John Kuwegai uh, from Ward 27, Mohali City. Le Fatsi, Lisuanitsi, Hubuela, Matsuhung, A Baduli, Kahore, Government, Atiba Hore, Le Fatsi, Tamilili, Duli, Tlaskata, Loyabona, Korbakoni, Honela, Batubarona, Mafatsi, Kutseva Halore, Mafatsi, Kitsuanolo, Sabatu, Kalebo. Greetings. Uh, I stand here to support the fact that the land should be given back to the, gov to the people and the government knows that because people have the right to own the land. Thank you. Recoupa, Raouta et Pewe, Mirafo, et Kere Rachoté. Banabaruna, Baroutoué, ou y Peha. Est-ce qu'il y a Pewa Kante? Badoudi, Ba Mirafo, Bade, Lise Basse Fumanang, ou Bane Badula, Bahema, Mirafo. Kita, Hudi, Hudi Heps, Kikupa, eh, Kikupa, di, 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 Kikupa, di, Miriana, Yasisu, Idumelwe, Huba, Iswa, Le Fati, Ba, 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 Tu, Ba, Ba, Sebe, Sankasisu, Ba, Yorutwa, Hu, Sebe, Disa, Miriana, Yasisu, Hu, Fodisa, Bato, kia lebu. I am Daphne Mulefe from Mirafeu. My request is that um, gold must be melted in the area of Mirafeu instead of it being exported to the outside countries where we're going to be buying the ornaments that were made with the gold that comes from us. And I also want to say that the people from Mirafon should be the beneficiaries of the wealth of the gold that has been extracted in that area, simply because they are exposed to the toxic environment in terms of inhaling the air that, or the dust that comes from that area. The last thing that I wanted to say is that it's in connection with the herbs. The traditional healers must be given access to the, I did not get that point, but the traditional healers must be given uh, the right to get the herbs from the area uh, in Mirafo, if I captured it well. Thank you. Amanda. Amanda. Okay, my name is Kiale Boha, Hasoroze from Khali City. In 2018, Parliament was here and made submission. We told you, go and change the law so that we can expropriate land without compensation. Why are you here? Because you are waiting a uh, tax of prayers money. You government, you're waiting a tax money. Uh, since you are here, this is our submission. Section 25 of the Constitutional must be amendment to as follow, the state include parliament, executive and judiciary carry an obligation to redress ambulance of the pass-through enactment of laws that will achieve redress and equitable retribution all resources. Don't waste our tax. Sanbonani, ge kamangwe innocent wa kwa tobeko. Gimela, gizo tanda nuguti, gizo tanda ugu kuzelela, luluta balumsha.
Sekuluma ngabantu abamnyama la. Noma sekuluma ngawo wongo muto shala e South Africa. Into kala emelesi si katelo tole. I ikusha liga kulutes kuluma ngai. If only sit si tata umsaba si tata goba. Labantu abapuma gulu umsaba. Bayago pisa bakosha si asala si ngabantu abamnyama si wenza umsa. Masibe masiben careful ngezi ni zinto kos si kosha amanya ama businesses. Kona la e West Rand. Abantu abagit bona bamiyam. Bakala ubuswela imisebe. Sorry, sorry, sorry. The nature, the nature of multi-party democracy is that you don't have to agree with everybody, but everybody has the right to say what they believe in and we have to respect one another otherwise we don't understand where we come from and where we are going allow him to say what he wants to say nyabonga sihlal into bengisama ukuyigcizelela futhi ukuthi masibe ni careful ukuthi sizothola imisebenzi asina misebenzi masizo bangu umsindo la ngothi sifuna umhlaba singana no knowledge ukuthi soyisebenzisa kanjani masibe nokwazi ukuthi lo mhlaba emangabe siyawuthola uza kuthina so sebenzisa kanjani masingayenze inoise ukuthi sifuna umhlaba asingakwazi ukuthi umhlaba mele siwenze njani masukumeni silwela umhlaba ngendlela eziright ezobenefita wonke umuntu ukuthi abe nomsebenzi inhlupe kuphelela esouth africa nyabo Yeah, thank you very much, Chairperson. Uh, I just want to emphasize on the issue of land. The issue of land is very important and very sensitive. Uh, it is very important that we should know that when we expropriate the land, why are we doing so and for who are we doing it? We need to be careful that if we expropriate the land, we mustn't also forget that we are unemployed. We must bear in mind as to know that when we expropriate the land, at the end of the day, we need to benefit from this land. Now, the issue of the land, as and when it is given us to, it, as and when it is given back to us, we must know as to how are we going to benefit from the land. Thank you very much. Amanda. Uh, my name is Valerie Mutatinyana from Ward 15, Mohale Sapriji. Uh, the parliament was here in 2018, and then we made our submissions. So today you are here again. You want us to make again the submissions of expropriation of land without compensations. Uh, I think uh, you are wasting our time because you used uh, the taxpayers' money. So people are not working, but we. since you are here, uh, subsection uh, section 25 of the Constitution must be amended to read as follows. The state, including parliament, executive, and judiciary, carry on obligation to redress imbalances of the past through amendment of laws that will achieve redress and equitably, equi equitably redistribute all resources. And then number two, property may be expropriated without compensation, reason being only in two terms of law of general application or public purpose on in the public interest. Remove section three of the, uh, and replace with the state should be custodian of the South Africa natural resources, including of land, mineral soils, mineral sources, and water and relevant legislation should be passed to clearly define and contextualize state custodianship of the natural resources. Uh, Gambella, umshaba kufanelu buye lekubani gasbayo 
ngaphandle kwesinqaphezelo nje ngendlela owathathwa ngayo owathathwa ngaphandle kwesinqaphezelo engikufisa yoke ma kushintshwa lo kwenziwa ushintsho kulomthetho sesekelo ongu section 25 kifisa ingathi abantu banikwe umhlaba ube sezandleni zabo kube sekuba nomgaqo siseko ocacile ukuthi lo mhlaba lo onikwa labantu usebenza kanjani ngaba wokutshala wokwakha then umuntu nomuntu osebenza lo mhlaba noma babe yi inhlangano babe negunya eliphelele linamaphepha wokuthi lo mhlaba bawusebenzisa wabo kanjalo naloyo ohlala kuwo owakha kuwo ngikusho lokho ngesathi ukuthi lapho engihlala khona e ward 15 asikwazi ukuthola ugesi namandla sibhada la ugesi kumlungu ogama lakhe ngingalibiza makufanele kuprethi mulman abantu ekuhlaleni njengamanje bebe nentoyitoyi bafuna ugesi umlungu uyanqaba nogesi uthi umhlaba wakho umasipala nohulumeni obusayo bamyekelele udubula abantu ngesikhatha sithandayo ayenze noma yini abantu ngesikhatha sithandayo kudala sikusho lokho ngo 2018 besilapha sikhuluma lokho uhulumeni angasizi ngalolu siyacela singumphathwa village which is what 15 emerafong ake sizakale sifuna ugesi umlungu uyanqaba nogesi ngiyabo Yeah, thank you very much, Chairperson. Uh, my name is Soyipa uh, Tabile. I'm from Ward 15 in the Western Region, Morafong Municipality, uh, and uh, mining area. Uh, Chairperson, I think the land must be given back to its rightful owners. It is my wish that the people who are given the land, they must be given proper documentation so that now they will be able to know to own this land in a proper way and in a rightful way and know as to what is it that they are going to use the land for. One of the pending issues that we have where we stay is that there is no electricity. Now whenever we talk to the owner of the land, uh, Mr. Molman, he doesn't want to give people electricity he shoots at the people when we complain to the government our matter is not addressed we therefore request you to try and assist us and make sure that people get their land so that they'll be able to get access to electricity thank you goeie dag ek is jolien de prie van vinterspoos ek verteenwoordig my gemeenskap. Graag wil ek vra, vraag wil ek vra, dat die sectie 25 moet gemeend word, en dat elk een gerechtig is op een stikkie grond. Ons wil nie net die grond he, om my huis te heen nie. Ons wil die grond he, om dit te bewerk ook. Want daar is baie oop grond wat ons kan bewerk en so doende die gemeenskap kan onderhoud. Ventersbos is een klein dorpie, meeste mense weet nie eens van ons nie. Maar ons is getrouwe mense wat probeer hard werk en probeer om God in ons gedagtes te hou. So Asseblief mense, ons vraag vir die regering, kyk daarna, laat elke Suid-Afrikaner een stikkie grond van sy eie kan hee. Baie dankie. Goedie, ik ben Jolien van Ventersbos. I'm Jolene from Fentersbos and I'm representing my community. Uh, as a belief, uh, let us leister, want by a fan on set, never stand what the dame has said. Now, on scan, war, what she has said. Gaan voort, as a belief. Good day, my name is Jolene and I'm from a small town called Fentersbos and I'm representing my community. And I want to request that Article 25 must be amended so that each person can own a piece of land, not just to build a house, but so that we can farm and we can uplift the community. Fenters Post is very small, 
but we are people who work very hard and we have God in our mind and we really want to request government to give each person a piece of land. Thank you. John Pito, Drift, open spaces. Ke uh, hepika amendment ya section 25. Uh, I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I Nerasina series sekarang kan komiti mobilaron. Then untuk itu kupang kan komiti hari expropriator land lepas. Arven careful for expropriator lepas itu kuboma, lepas itu kuboma, because retros ada lepas itu mubah tu balu korem ba ekonomikal ba 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 tuer ekonomi ya South Africa. Let's go back to Zimbabwe. What happened to Zimbabwe? They took the land to people by the Basuri economy. Okay. They took the land to the Nebasuri economy. Why is that? Economy elapsed. Yeah, no. They took a committee more. They facilitated that process. But be careful for the ballots are going to be made. Number two, the first. Let's say Ko Mahueng, I look for him, Banalma Fati Amanga, Nalma Huaman, but owner the hectares, the whole Habadi Berikis. Key, do you open Motatan, how Mota Oko, old age home? Utu fades. How how Mota Hore Le Fatile, Renali challenged the Aku Ministry. Hale Mulata go late home, Utu fades, Hatibi Banabakukai, Hatibi Wazala, O Hanakale Fatil, Kima Fatta Santelats, eh? Then not my Fatta I look for him. A balance the economy of South Africa as unemployment is going Number three, the Kopa Committee for high certain killer mafati. Let's go hold the government. Mafati, municipality na mafati are holding and higher favor to the rightful owners. Baba deserving mafati. Hele sela at mafati a le accumulate from but bala zering kobon. Afeng but baba chanting ba 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 push agriculture. But while you are talking about something contributed to economy and employment in South Africa. Another thing, I am not sure how to pay for the money that I have to pay for. Really? Okay, I'm sure. Excuse me. We respect your right to take photos. But don't be walking in front of the speaker because that obstructs the cameras which must record this. And uh, please, uh, let's not walk in front of the cameras and in front of the speakers. Greetings, my name is John Pizzo. I'm from Ward 3 in Mendel's Drift. The area that I come from has lots and lots of open spaces. So I want to address myself to only three things. The first one is that I want to support the amendment of section 25 of the Constitution. But I want us to say that uh, as we do this, let's take it as a positive thing. Unlike us having a negative attitude towards the whole process of amending section 25 of the Constitution. I also have got this request that uh, when land is being expropriated, we must expropriate land from the people who have got, the white farmers who have got large hectares of land. And it's a fallen land that is not being utilized. 
as we do this, you must be reminded of the Zimbabwe model, wherein land was expropriated from the rich people who were working on the land. The effects of that was that the economy contracted. So let us be cautious as we do that. The second thing that I want to say in here is that uh, there are white people who own land in the areas that I have mentioned, but they don't use land. When you do the check, you find that most of them do not even reside in those areas. You find that some of them are in the old age homes, but they don't use the land. So let us look into those very issues. My third and last request is that as we expropriate land, let us make sure that we give land to the people who really deserve the land. That is, people who will work on the land. We have to work on the land. The last thing that I want to request is that I'm calling on the people who grab the land illegally to refrain from doing that. Thank you. San Bonani, a common one to two or up till is in Buyaka, he said what ten. Is Taylor Jingna so mean a good thing? A snack is a paper ten is Naboma five weeks is in a case. And the manje Tinabanyas Nabantanabanga and Melabato Libi, see, you are born. A Stello Sam says he too in things we please, please, please. Let's allow, we say, the youth are the key to the future. So we must listen to what they are saying. Proceed. Okay. In five weeks, this is the case. Aban Bez Kombazi, the Bakati Mitlagasi, Sibes Tengu Kesi, Bakati Ndamu, Bati, Aban Tabani, Bati Bile, La Pamanjas Nakis, Mr. Langebazos Lung Selu Kesi, Slide, Naboko, Bakonu Glide, and Abantana Bakonu Geskulit. In two weeks, two men, the light. Bas kreite lum sebins, ba yega lugo sepa lum sebins, ba teni sita ulpi, sita ulpi ngeke zis sepenex. Seven hundred and fifteen enyang. Ah, mestela neti gud bas kreite lum lum sebins. E intenge itela, itela neti ba kipe ne yute strate ne yega lugo pema matrax. Yeah, thank you, Chaperson. I am. Kahiso Butelezi, and I'm also from uh, Kahiso. My main issue here is the issue of electricity. It's now almost five weeks we have been without electricity. The ESCOM people came, they disconnected uh, electricity. And uh, there are young children there who are also affected by this disconnection. Also, the rate of unemployment in our area is very, very high. We are also asking that the issue of joblessness should be addressed. When they tell us about employment, they are referring us to the CWPs, and the amount that the CWPs are getting is very minimal, about 750. So we uh, asking that the issue of unemployment should be addressed in our area and also the issue of drugs should also be looked into. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the exemplary way in which you conducted yourself. I have no doubt that uh, the people on this side will follow your example. Now I'm going to take um, uh, uh, we, we are coming to that side. Now we are here. So don't worry. We have a vigilant group in front. We are coming here. Uh, I see this gentleman here, yourself, 
and the gentleman behind you and uh, there's an, a senior citizen in Red Barrett yourself and uh, yeah and, and that lady yeah we, uh, that lady yeah uh, 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 you, you see, one thing sure, we are going to, fair, to be fair to all of you. There is a white gentleman there, and a white lady there, and uh, there is a, a lady here, uh, yourself in a blanket, Yourself. <laughs> that the lady, the, yeah, the the lady there, yes. <laughs> uh, 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 what, what, what I like about you as leaders is that you will be the first to respect the rules that we have all agreed to. Now I'm moving right at the back. Uh, there is a, the DA blue t-shirt yourself and another blue t-shirt there. Uh, how many left? Uh, there's a, a lady there. I, I can't see. Uh, uh, we we have ten. I can see you are an, an energetic young person. I won't ignore you, but uh, just sit down and allow. We will recognize you. Sit down, Ubambe uh, Muted. Uh, You, you see, we have 10 people, both black and white, because we are here to listen to everyone who wants to make a contribution. Now uh, you may begin. Thanks, Chair. My name is Mpomu Taum. I am a member of the ANC in good standing. <laughs> Secondly, I stand here on behalf of a structure called COSATU in the West Rand, and we wish to submit as follows. Number one, we submit on clause on section 25, clauses one, four, five, six, and nine should remain the same. Number two, on clause two, we make the following amendments. Add a new subclause 2C, which must read as follows, and I quote, subject to without compensation or nil compensation under conditions laid out in a law of general application, close quote. On clause seven, we make the following submission that for the purpose of this hearing, only the text remain as it is. On clause eight, we make the following amendments in line of the clause as follows, and everything thereafter remains the same. I quote, no provision of this section, including the payment of compensation, 
may impede the state, close quote. On clause three, as we conclude, we submit as follows. Where compensation is payable, and we quote, where compensation is payable, the amount of the compensation and the time and the manner of payment must be, must be just and equitable, close quote. Thank you. As well, Velile. Ika Malam Dungsi Postman. A regional tax team, yes, Anko, a Westrand. This is a two Sogbas Belapa, a point Suga Koyo, the Suga Ewetela, Umshaba was mine. Umshaba Usacheli Gongo, a Balungui. Siaukela gelum shaba uguti mabuye lebantui. Sigwa zuguti su sebe nzi se tina singa bantu. Uksuge la guminyage kutileyo a uhulmente agawaz nuksakela izinlu. Genga yukba um shaba ulaulwanga belum. Ulaulwangongo. Siakela ge sing sanko ewesrand. Uguti um shaba maukulu nwe. Ubuyele ebantwini ngaphandle kwembuyekezo ungabi khona senti le ibhatalwayo umhlaba unikezwa abantu amanda viva mdomnyama viva Hagele Bue, but I make very pleasant. Hagiti Lemona Janaki Kilo Sutle. Oh, Yanigasa Sutle, Kisu Kueki, but one of us, Ungaleki Simona, Ungaleki Pleasure Hag. Obana Wanajan, I want to take Mata Leba, 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 Kamuna, Lady to hold. Talabaka, I'll tell you how to show you about Robert Swing. Talabans about. Lebanda de Mandela, Holo Harb with the Milu Mori, as the Rose said, is our Camilo. We are old. Kionan twenty four and Giring Kilibua, Holo Rona, Hilemon and Lady Engels as Lagagini. Restopala, the Pats and Laona, fellow Tras Laona. Hire Alabata, Hotel Releg, Releg again. Harena Tele Dow Reg. Bonaval in Kile fell free. Ha huna mowa ila kabale rega ting, bale regi le huma. Ha bale rega. Kuto falla huma na, ha kada kuto falla huma na, ba kabula la rega le falla. Kaba tala falla ra huna. Kuto swa rega matoa wa huna. Ha huna huko ukasula kusebeza ndoya haul khal. Kala ba kala mowa na bila kusula kusebeza ndoza huna. Kala ba tala falla ra huna lukudi. Kuto da kiji saba na wa huna. Reala pa kalba kalabon. Kalibu. Good afternoon. Let me let me start by thanking you, Chairperson, for this opportunity. I would like to also take this opportunity to thank Nelson Mandela for offering us the opportunity to work for ourselves. It's the reason why I'm here today is because I'm a poor man. I'm standing here as a poor man. Uh, who is struggling due to these white people who claim to love us. We are told that when we want our land back, which, the land which is rightfully ours, we are told that we must buy the land, yet they got the land f for free. Where did they buy this land? We want our land back. We want to work on our own land. We want our land back. Thank you. Et du melam by tapin varoun. Tout l'amba n'a pas qu'un kéki que ce paramenté. Qui le bohan tate ma trole moussèka alité. N'a ou un gossigna vignette. Nkoulala la payane et pepinard. 
eh baba ndaba guti ya status kwa za makitabu ya sutu kijumela hore risuta ile batho ba sulikana na ke tsama le molao wa section 25 ore ne pase le khuta le obe mba lona ka ntla o dithapiso go baneng ke hotse na ke na le 75 years ke hotse ka history e geng hulo hulo ona ka dipatlana batho bana ba ngile le pase ka madi ya hona batho bana ba ngile le pase ka mahapa ha o ka wa tshe ba ntate mathole mosega eh le soto le kala ka le kwa ha o ka ke wa bua ntate mathole mosega hua blue panten ke le soto ntate mathole mosega ha o ka ke na bepela ke magrele a dutsi mono ke bana ba motho ba golelana le phasi ba sect ba ba tshagalana di hectares ba thona mo ba dula how to how ka ka tala u wa khomo ho tho e patale empa we bona ha bana matso ba sebeletswa ke gona e di noma di bonta ta go na ba tshotse mono mabitsa a setse mono mabitsa a a mentshelwa ke mo ba le hodimo le le passe le messi a lona ke di a khala ko o go mente ke se tsa ile o le ka Hagena ma hagena ba dudi ke a le buha bana ba ka tshile bo a se ka le patse ke bona bona kwa di mpile ngona le a se ba history Inter- no, uh, we we need an interpretation here yeah? can you interpret what uh, the senior uh, citizen is saying greetings um, to the leadership may i also take this um, honor to greet you um, to greet you chief mandela i grew up in vepenar i stand here to support section 25 which states that there should be land expropriation without compensation as a 75 year old woman i've lived my life with a lot of struggles but history shows that our land was taken with aggression we can refer back to the wars such as difatani to show where we come from from Lesotho, Bluefontein and Bethlehem that is our land we want our land back these people who own land do not even have the hands to work the land we have the hands we can work our own land they won't they don't even allow us to graze our own cows in the land that we work in our relatives graves are left behind everything is ours that belongs in our land our, our we want our land we want our water we want everything we want our land to come back thank you Good afternoon members of parliament. I'm Dennis van Sail and I'm representing the farmers of Gauteng, black and white members of Gauteng farmers. The proposed amendment to the constitution which aim to action instead of pursuing the expropriation on functioning production farms, government should be forcing partnerships of commercial farmers and society to expand agricultural onto unused land in ownership of the state or rural communities empowering a new generation of farmers there are millions of hectares of high productive tribal and community owned land that is lying fallow the key to land reform and redistribution and economic growth is the need for government to go about partnerships between it the farming sector and the society with a view to ex- exploiting the national natural environment to benefit and employment of disadvantaged people government owned document included in the ndp treasury economics strategies the high level panel report and the government development plan and agri processing strategy all call for this partnerships and the development of vast tract of unutilized land in the ownership of tribal rural communities and the state farms that lies fallow as agri gauteng we pledge our support expertise and knowledge in this regard and the rest regards we acknowledge and recognize the need for land 
we believe that our constitution is current from providing as progressive, fair and rational framework which in land reform can be activate this will respect the legitimate rights of the Conor Ryan land owners. Accordingly, agri Gauteng cannot support the proposed amendment of our Bill of Rights and the Constitution. Good afternoon everybody, my name is Mari van Graan, I've been a resident in Western Area, a lovely little town, uh, for 40 years. I want to tell you the other side of a coin, of the coin, I was married to a farmer. I can tell you that it's very, very hard. A farmer works his fingers to the bone, his day and night, things go wrong, uh, if you uh, sit down to your breakfast in the morning, what do you see? You have uh, your tea, that's all these, uh, pro, uh, just these simple breakfast things I'm going to mention is being produced by a good farmer. So you'll have your uh, bar for your child to take him to school. It will be done with a, a peanut in. You'll have your milk and your coffee. You'll have the bread that comes from the farmer. So they are terribly important. So we are not to throw them off the land. We should rather work together as one. And uh, so in, in, in principle, I uh, was appointed by Ofri Forum, and we do not support this um, with, uh, without compensation. Um, who will just give his house away, his, his land away, and where must, the, where must the person go to? And that, um, I'm sorry to mention Zimbabwe. I think people get, seem to get very upset with Zimbabwe. But we, when we look at Zimbabwe, we can see the hunger and the despair of the people that were once farmers. It was taken away from them. Furthermore, I just want us in South Africa to work together as a white person, a pink person, a black person, lesbians, gays, mal mensen, gewone mensen, parlementaars. Ons kan net saamwerk en net ophou beklui oor, oor hierdie goed, maar dit is een belangrike, ek meen, ons het, ons kan, daar is baie goeie Farmers, what, what means they can infat in what can learn how to plant millies, how to do your cattle. That is a very intricate business. I know I was married for 20 years to a farmer. I can tell you it was a tough life. Sometimes the, our furniture, sorry, looked like, I don't want to say tick, tick, tick word, because everything went into the farm. Thank you. This is the first Libitsa la ka ke nna sheli tsakane mo sotwane form 31 ko restaurant Ah ntene ke kopa ke gore ne re kopa gore section e ya land section 23 e chenchiwe for occupation 
of land without compensation. Mabaka aga ato na manya ne ba khololing kute pila. As kitwa kilingwana, I'm from rural. Firstly, always our government will tell us for we can't build houses because of most land are occupied. But from those people that they've been occupying land, the problem is they are not using that land. I'm talking on behalf of Mahalisbeck, Hackport, Meles Drive, Taralton, Swartkop, those places. Those are rural areas that even the government is not recognizing that place. I get like a tabaya stand from Mahalisbeck, my what 31. Since the stand phase one until up to today, we have been asking for stand, this stand, give us stand. But always Rebelaka ha Hunali Fats. But Hunale Ma Fatsi Amangata, I long for Habiri Kisivi. And then Tabaya Mabita. It's also a well like a motla sa halen ha tabaya ma fat. Baholo, that matol. Raka mabita almost two thousand rand. And uh, but we are so disadvantaged, more especially when it comes to the How can a person owe Holland 2,500 rand? A patel le libita la 2,000 rand. And how do you shabala modi plekan se di unkhutla yana? But we patel la mabita wo ma 300 rand. But people from the rural areas they are paying more money. So that means when we patel le libita, and uh, it's becoming into a elemore now. Inta 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 now. Recognizing rural areas. I'm here on behalf of rural people that are not recognized because of even Runa. That's how get away So section twenty-three. Section sorry, section twenty-five. Eh? Occupation of land without compensation. I thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, Chairperson. Thank you, those around you. Uh, my name is Tawo Makwai. I'm from Mutake. I stand here before you. Linda, I want to contribute on Section 25. Uh, this section, we have to look it on both sides. We don't have to look it on one side. Because uh, when you're saying land must be expropriated without compensation, what, what are you saying to those people who have bought that land? You mean those people don't have to be compensated because those people have bought those land and then they've got the ownership of that land. So, uh, listen to me, listen uh, to me. Uh, That's my personal view. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, uh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, we know that there is this row here and the row there. We see you. Your time will come. But please, let's give him a hearing. You don't have to agree with him. You are not forced to agree with him, but he has the right to say what he wants to say. Thank you, Chair. What you are saying to those people who have bought those land, you are saying those people must leave the South Africa because those people they are the part and the parcels of this country. So the farmers, they are contributed towards the economy of South Africa. They create jobs for the unemployment. They are, grow, they are, contribut they are contributing towards the economy of South Africa. So when you say you expropriate land without compensation, that means you are saying those people, their property must be fall under the government. Now I'm saying I'm against this uh, section 25. What I'm saying is, people, the land must be given to those people. The people must give in the ownership of their land. People must give in the title deed. The land cannot be nationalized. The land cannot be under the government. The people must be own their own land. They must, the land must be under the people's hands. Because those people... Uh... Uh, with, with, with respect, with respect, with respect to all of you, howling does not add to the value of your contribution. 
the quality of what you want to say is not improved by howling. Let's not howl, you get an opportunity to speak. Proceed. Thank you, Chair. Uh, as I have already alluded, Chair, I'm saying I'm against this Section 25 because this section is tend to favor some other uh, 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 group, whereas the other group is it's, 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 it's unfair. It's unfair to those who, who bought the land. It's unfair to those people who bought the land. Let's make an example to those of people in Zimbabwe. The land were expropriated without compensation. So, people... He still has time. The ownership of the land must be given to the people. The people must own the land themselves, not the government. The government cannot own the land on behalf of me. I am the one who is living on this land. Even if the title is now, I don't have a land. Where I'm staying, I pay rent. I don't have a place to stay. So what I'm saying to the government is the government must keep the title deed so that I can have my own, my own place so that when I die, my children can be benefited from, from where I stay. Because if I die, my children won't benefit because that means that land will be fall under the government. The government will take the control of the land. I'm saying I'm against those Section 25. The land must be owned by these people. Uh, uh, with respect with respect with respect to all of you with respect to all of you with respect to all of you we have said the timekeepers are in front here and the people who are keeping the time are the most capable people. Don't assist them. But also, if you disagree and you howl, we switch off and wait for the howling to come to an end. We switch on, and the person will be here for the whole day. So you waste your own time. So please, let's listen to everybody, because we want to listen to all South Africans regardless of what they believe in. Thank you very much. Thank you Ik stem samen met die amendment. En punt nummer 1. Hele gedank aan die financiële implicaties wat die land gaan, gaan, gaan het en uh, as die dan die bal gaan agree word. Hele gedank aan die civil hall wat gaan plaas gaan vind as die dan gaan agree gaan word. En uh, ek soos dat. En um, on, ek wil net een ding vraag. Oh, president Jacob Zuma het een groot land aan Dubbel. Kree je ze die land terug en geef voor die, voor, die, voor die communities en dan kom je weer terug en praat je met hem. I rest my case. Good day, I'm Larry Stone from Randfontein and I'm representing the DA. I don't support the amendment because did you think about the financial implications for the country if we proceed with this amendment of Section 25? And have you thought about the civil war that this amendment of Section 25 can lead to? Uh, I have a request that old President Jacob Zuma has a lot of land in Durban. Go fetch that land and give it to the people. Uh, 
che alle nuove di sa di membra da parlamento la mia nagona o estenti pinta da mazza gadmer di me la madova e sopra o estrante na le bicho la gaga ma sopra che pinta che che dula a tua navi Kaji kuli na kitabu hizo kuta kwa anu moja au anu huku wakala fahat. Kena ringla zetao, sige ba tangu ni kai samun. Yapin, alimbora kiri kina la kidi sebu. Me kapa mende kia kuna, yaba tawa. Bara au sebi ni zohre. Kali ni sisi boleh kalau bawa bawa tu, kena lemah ke sakata lundi. Kebeli le cuma rau, kamu kama tu, lekap menda kena hari bulan lembu bor. Bagus sebab fela kau kefa 1.7. Kena di di kalau lo, kena lemah tu, kena bor. Kena kau kena weekend dah mesti beri. Imbana hagi fuma, kwa na huyu amano tuno, maso pa kwa itali tu wana ulo tolili. Kindo pshu kuhuru na huyu ane kubima kubima na hayi. Wale kikupaoka, hayi ni muna huto bua kala fasi, kwa kwa tanga mai kuto akahoke, bato bote kwa fela bato boko bato wali simu ni kibato wala kwa bato wawa. Ya wewe ni kile kina kisebe ni maingi. Tadi ya kalau filma, wajen di belakang. Barang yang awi nama dia Muhammad ini lini itu. Kita ini fela kap produk fandi ya cile teu ini hura hona. Barang hupu lana tadi ya si, ya wu sebiji jeng usah fuma nali itu. Utuh fuma la cile teu ini hura hona nama tu. Impanen kuna lebat bawa suhu bana ni di share di mana. Wata ba utu kona watu wazo, ege sebedi jeni maeneo, ena kile watu wana haya ina. Kora, kwa fiti, kiki bata likara, kichewi. Kena le ba na kile kina la kile watu wadi sebuli, na wake na la ba na ba wara roba kwa kwa kwenye school, ba kwenye school, ba kwenye dile kwa 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 kwenye kwa. But how about the joke of a phone? I'm saying, but tell you, I'm not going to give a number of my give a number of my but why? Why can't I see feeding my animals? Even what I need to move in the cat in bag. I don't know what to what 18,000 that day. Now go if a delay real level. Let me start by greeting the leadership and you, Ndate Matsecha. My name is Matsu Pantzigelo. Um, I, I am a person who is living with disability. Uh, I am quite happy that we are here today to discuss uh, land expropriation. However, as a person living with disability, I feel that we are uncared for by our very own black government. Our black government is failing us, it's failing to take care of us. Um, we are just given uh, the 1,700 social grant, but we're not provided with the opportunities to work for ourselves. Even though I am a person who is living with disabilities, I believe that I can still be able to work and provide for myself. My second point is that I would like to indicate that I worked in Carltonville Mines for 30 years. However, the only thing that I left with was my pension fund, which was deducted for my monthly salaries. Um, what I find strange and disturbing is the fact that white people have mining shares, yet as black people we do not have anything to show. I would like to leave this place with answers to these questions that I have. I also have um, three um, children who completed grade 12, however they are struggling to find jobs and when they do job seeking, they are asked to pay for job seeking. They've sent their CVs, one of them even went to Rustenberg, uh, but he indicated that he was asked to pay 8,000. I support land expropriation. It is... Uh, uh, <laughs> 
uh, it is the policy of this government. It is the policy of this government to recognize women, the youth, and people living with disability. Uh, now, I'm going to go to this side using the same principle of fairness. I saw, I don't want to point out people. I saw a lady who was sitting over there who walked across and sat here. Uh, and uh, I, respect, uh, I respect her, but I think she must also respect that uh, we are done with this side. We are done with this side. Now we are going to take the hands from the people who are legitimately on this side. Uh, I recognize you. I recognize you. Uh, I recognize uh, you with two hands. Yeah. And the young, the young lady that I promised yourself, yes. Uh, and not you. No. No, that, that young lady, yeah. Huh? Uh, Uh, no, I didn't recognize you. I recognize the young lady. Uh, no, I recognize the young lady. Now I'm, I'm taking instructions from the leadership here. I'm going to the middle. Uh, there's that lady with uh, yourself, yes. Uh, and uh, the other gentleman who is uh, putting light into my w uh, eyes. Uh, now, according to the rules agreed by all of us, by all of us, I'm going to write at the back. Uh, how many are we here? Uh, no, 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 I didn't recognize you. Uh, no, with respect, uh, I didn't recognize you. Yes, please. Uh, how many, I didn't recognize you, please, yes. And I didn't recognize you. <clears throat> How many are we left with? Uh, uh, I see the lady who's raising two hands with the phone in her hand yourself. I, yes. The maroon jacket, I recognize you. Yes. Uh, the, the other one waving a blanket, I recognize you. Uh, you at the top will come to you. We, we are here for you. We, we are here for you. Just relax. We are here to listen to you. So just relax. Uh, how many people do we have here? Two left. There's uh, 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 someone with a phone at the back. Eh? Huh? And there's a, there's a, I'm told, a man with a bottle. I don't see the bottle. Uh, 
the man with the bottle. Yeah. But no maunga kulume nam tanji. Usen dog. Usen faz. I'm following the rules that we agreed to. Proceed. Dumela, Nagali Bizoke Ponganesebora, Ketwako, one Teti Tre Pegastar. This issue, I learned, is a very serious issue because of Haris Sheba. This land was taken from our forefathers by the who? By the white people. Today they are here proclaiming that we are supposed to compensate them. Today they are here saying we must compensate them for the, the, the land that they took from us. If we compensate them, the white people, the white people will become more and more rich. So Rona, what are we going to do? No, the land must be taken without no compensation. The ANC, Youth League in particular, we are saying forward with the amendment bill so that we, as black people, we can be empowered. It does not only end here. When I speak here, I'm not only speaking for my political party. Even black people from the opposition parties, I'm speaking for you. It's time. Kinakoyao, no. Motoa DA, we are used to this. Hori will come and protect them. It's fine. Even Missy Mima and he protect them, them. But today, where is he? Protect them, comrades. But in Minnesota, this issue I learned in Makabani, Iwela under the RET. Radical economic transformation. So we are saying forward with the implementation of Msholozi. Forward! The gentleman mentioned that Land issue is very emotive. Order, order, please. He said that land issue is a very emotive issue. He also said that white people took our land from our forefathers, and if they want us to pay for the land, how would we pay for it? Because we are not working, and black people are hungry. Therefore, I support land expropriation without compensation. Thank you. Thanks, Chair. My name is Maria Koza from Mohali City, Ward 5. Let me appreciate parliamentary member of the EFF. Uh, chairperson, in 2018, the parliament was here, and we made the submission. We told you to go and change a law so that we expropriate the land without compensation. Why are you here? Because you are wasting the taxpayers' money. Since we are here, chairperson, this is our submission. We'll make another submission. The section 25 of the Constitution must be amended to read as follows. Number one, the state, including parliament, executive, and judiciary, carry an obligation to redress imbalance of the pass-through enact enactment of law that will achieve redress and equi equi equitable restribute, restribute all resources. Number two, Property may be expropriated without compensation. Subsection A, only in terms of law or general application. Subsection B, on a public purposes or in the public interest. Chairperson, we are, we are sending you to go and remove number three of the Constitution. Remove number three and replace it with number three. That states as follows. The state should be custodian of South African natural resources, including of land, mineral resources, and water. And relevant legislation should be passed 
to clearly define and contextualize state custodianship of natural resources. Chairperson, there won't be Jan van Riebeck this time. Please go and change and amend. Jan van Riebeck is no longer there. Go and amend the constitution. Because Jan van Riebeck, when he get here, he make hectares that, that our, our forefathers never understand the language. That now we are here. Go and amend the constitution. There is no hectares anymore. We don't understand that language. Please amend the constitution. Thank you. Thanks, Chairperson. My name is George Rakoman from Hot 32. I'm a member of the ANC. Chair, uh, <clears throat> I had 100 uh, concerns, but I think that many colleagues have covered me. Chairperson, you see, the resolution of the ANC of Nazareth stated very clearly that we need the land to be able to go to its own rightful owners. Without compensation. Two is that our brothers here from the left, they stole our ideas and they are supporting that idea. And they have percentage. Yeah? And they have percentage in that parliament that it can be able uh, sorry. Let's let's do this. Let's let's do this. Uh, Make your points regarding your points regarding section section twenty five. Don't don't no chair chairperson. Yeah, because if you cast no, yeah, no chair, chair. okay, thank yeah, you. No chair, chair. Yeah. yeah, chair. So I'm saying chair. You guys from parliament, you are representing us as people from the ground level. And a majority of you, you are speaking one language. The problem is that how, who wants to shine? No need that you must be able to shine, whether it's ANC or EFF. Comrades, meet and, meet and make a two-third majority, all of you, and make implementation for the sake of black people. We need this land, all of us, because of it's going to work for us. So, for the sake of unity, all, all parties, they must be able to meet, including the smaller Yana parties, that they must be able to assist in terms of percentage. That's my submission. Thank you very much. Molwen, Ikama, Tingumasedi, Hermans. I stand as the first president of Renwe City Sports Confederation Committee. I am a part of the unemployed youth, and I stand in support of the 25th section, which says and stands for land expropriation without compensation. As you guys know that this area is of mine, mines, and the issue yam is with these very towns and places becoming ghost towns. Kuya puka apa akone uba umtume ambile. I am trying to state the need of resources in this place. I want to state that the, the very same mines that occupy our land today, they make close to billions. In fact, they do make billions out of the very same land that we are supposed to possess. Yet, we do not have infrastructure. When we talk of the sports infrastructures, they do not accommodate those with disabilities. I need to speak and stand on behalf of those with disabilities, as well as those in old age. Abanto Badala, it's not a crime to be old. I want to state that fact. They also need something to do, as much as Nati see youth is unemployed, we also need something to do. But Nabo, they also need to be given something Eyokwenza. I also wanted to state that these very same towns, as much as I know that they built on Dolomite land, of which means Kuzabane sinkholes, we already have witnessed our, well, one of our first sinkholes up in Western area, Pakati Ekutlalen, where there's children that could possibly fall inside those sinkholes. This includes both Ikalton Villa and Western area. 
these places are experiencing a danger, hazards that are very much serious and that could harm our future leaders, which is the youth. And I also want to state another fact that these places can actually be used to create jobs for the youth. Let me emphasize to create jobs means that the very same white owners that are owning this land need to train the youth. You can't give me something that I don't know what or how to use it. They must be the ones to stay and teach us how to work this very land. And I wanted to also state that cooks need to be opened, reopened and owned by the government so that abantu banikezo yi opportunity yo pinde basebenze payana in there I'm closing, thank you chair Thank you chairperson Thank you chairperson, my name is Bertol Munyai Order, order please Order, order, order Thank you, Chairperson. My name is Bertol Munyai from Ward 13, Rand West, Mutlaking, the Regional Secretary of the EFF. Yes. In 2018, the Parliament was here. We made the submission. We told you to go and change the law so that we can expropriate the land without compensation. Again, you are here. Why are you here? You are wasting taxpayers' money. Since you are here, we want to make the submission. Section 25 of the Constitution must be amended and read as follows. The state, including the parliament, executive and judiciary, carry an obligation to redress the imbalances of the past through enactment of the laws that will achieve redress and equitable redistribute all resources. Property may be expropriated without compensation. A, only in terms of general law of application, B, or in public purpose, or in public interest. Remove section three and replace it with uh, three, which state as follows. The state should be the custodian of South African natural resources, inclusive of land, mineral resources, and water, and other relevant legislation should be passed to clearly define and contextualize the state as the custodianship of natural resources. Uh, we are supporting that Section 25 of the Constitution must be amended and the land must be expropriated without compensation for equal redistribution for all. Thank you. Um, greetings to the House at Large. I go by the name of Kapsile Mavimbela. I stand here as the Provincial Deputy Chairperson of the Young Communist League. Um, as I stand before you, I hear, pe <laughs> I hear people talking about land. Yes, as black people, we, we want our land, our, our land back. But I haven't heard a person standing here talking about the interest of young people in this land issue. Mine is to speak about, we hear Awantaba Dala saying they want the land because of, they want to like have, um, 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 build houses and build whatever that will make them benefit. But mine is to speak about young people who are sitting in the corners right now as we speak. Our brothers are dying in daily basis. Mine is to say this land we want it back. Can it not be a matter, as you guys will be going back to parliament, can it not be a matter of saying they want the land who are out to benefit or to actually to have their own, actually for their own benefit? Can it be a matter of saying as West Rand, we need a, a development center. Young people need skills skills of plumbing, welding, whatever, sewing. Young people of West Rand are dying in daily basis because of this thing, your land and everything. Can it be a matter when you guys go back, please speak for young people of the West Rand telling these people, we need a development center and not a play, just play, a big, big development center for, the, for, for young people by West Rand. I thank you. I... I greet you all. Um, my name is Delton Paloi, um, the lady from the back. Um, <laughs> um, I am here because um, I, I, I tend to take this issue of the amendment of section 25 
as a national issue that it should not be that the people who are older and more wise should partake in this because we the youth are affected the most. Firstly, I would like to say that we should not be discouraged by people who will come here and say you will be poor because of amendment of section 25. It is, it is completely incompetent to point at Zimbabwe and say Zimbabwe is poor because of, sec of uh, uh, compensation of land, uh, of t uh, expropriation of land. Please excuse me, I'm not very eloquent because I'm not used to public speaking. But I would like to say that it is very, very useless to say that these people are poor because of they took the land. We must remember that there is economic castration that took place in the era of Mugabe. There is economic sanctions that were imposed on Zimbabwe. We must understand that we are gathered here as Africans, not as people who are not from Africa. We must understand that this whole thing of amendment of section 25, take, it, 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 it encompasses everyone, whether you are an ANC or an EFF, we should not say it's whose idea or whose idea, because that does not matter. What matters is who actually amends Section 25. I would also, I would also like to say that um, many of us as the youth are idling because of the land that we do not have. Some might say, why? Why do you need the land? I think that most people should just go and read books and understand this whole concept. Because people always have an opinion without understanding the complete issue. And I would also like to say, um, lastly, that they say that uh, if we take the land, we will be poor. But who has the land? Are they poor? That is completely incompetent with reasoning and logic. So I would like to say that I am supporting Amendment 25, amend, uh, Section 25, of the Constitution, I thank you. Honorable Chair, uh, members of this parliament, my name is uh, Patrick Mabusela from Melders Drift. I, I, I stand before you honestly saying these people are ahead. These people are ahead. But to Baba Nim Muna, Baut we label Shogu, That being the factor, another question when I'm sitting there comes to my mind, Hore. Okay, if I, I personally agree that let's give the land to the people without compensation. Yes. But here is my question. In, in, in all fairness, and, and, and I'm going to make an example uh, with, 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 with my sister here, Uguti. Usi Silana owns a land in Jobek, or owns a land in Umtata. And he comes in Gauteng, owns another land. He goes to Limpopo and owns another land. I'm, I'm, I'm making an example with you, my sister. Don't be offended. Uh, that on its own, are we, are, we, are we saying it is good that people must own a land? That one person must own almost uh, 300 hectares in each and every province? It is, it is, for me, it, it, it's a problem because we're having almost 52 million people in South Africa, right? The person, uh, the latter speaker who was standing here talks of uh, Melda's Drift on, on its own. It has about uh, 1.3 million people who was, uh, are residing in, 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 in Melda's Drift. But out of, out of that number, out of that number, we only have 100 people who are owning the land. And, and, and with a certain color or with a, a certain minority of people who are owning that land. Hence, when I started speaking here, I said, people are ahead. And, and, and you don't come here and, and, and rub the wounds and say, we want to give you land, and then at the end of the day, my sister is going to own another uh, 700 hectares of land, or the chairperson is going to own 1,000 hectares of the land. It, is, it becomes a problem because you, 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 I, my feeling is that you come here and lie to us that uh, the Section 25 says uh, compensation without... Uh, without uh, uh, Compensation, uh, expropriation of land without compensation. 
please. Taki iwe ka shwana motho motla ntla lo gana. Le fase le le recreer le fase re sa patalwa. Yes. Le nna ke dumelana le yo. But are we saying that the ringo matlingosi as a kire le fase ke tsa motla rra. A kire le fase because he is privileged. He is a, he, he is privileged and then analen that privilege. Thank you. Thank you, Honourable Chair of... Uh, order, please. Order, order, order. Thank you, Honourable Chair of the session. My name is Lutokhonolo Makhamati. I reside in Ward 32. And I am the Provincial Chair of Samu Young Workers in Gauteng. Chair, I want to say that let us first look at the historical background of Section 25. We say that when you go back in the, in the books of history, you check that the, land, the 1913 Act, which was introduced, it was introduced to benefit the minority that the DA is coming here to defend. The 1913 Act benefited the minority, which are the white people, which when we go and look today are the ones that are owning the majority of the land in South Africa. We want to say, Chair, the expropriation of land without compensation should be a lingo of our day, each and every day. It's what should preoccupy our minds every day when we speak of expropriation. The DA wants to come here and can stand and issue out to say that when, when we go and amend the constitution, the section 25, it's going to cause civil law. I think their masters has then sent them here to come and cause confusion to us, the black, man, the black majority here. But well, we are not going to be confused by them because of go and check at the gallows and at the gutters, what the white people call the gutters of the ghetto. You would never find a white person. You'd find those that, were, that was beaten by the system and then they are then joining us in, in those locations that were previously called the squatter camps, which us as black people were forced to be there. We were not there because of, by choice, or we like being there. So we are saying that the expropriation of land without compensation should be a reality. Parliament must then stop with these old shows and not, taking, and not taking implementation steps. Because of last year, Parliament was here wanting our views in regards to the Section 25. We are saying amended. We, the black majority, who are dispossessed of our land, are the ones that are suffering now. Go out there to, and check the hectares that are, that are owned by the white minority. If really they want to share the wealth of this, of this country with us, they should, be, they should come to us and say that this is what we have and this is what we can share. But to show that they, are, they don't have interest of us, the black majority, here, then let's expropriate without compensation. We've given them too much time since the, the dawn of democracy. Today we are 27 or 20, 27 years into democracy, but still they are, they are the ones that are owning the means of production. Without land, still the economy would belong to them. We might speak radical economic transformation. We might speak transformation of the economy in as much as we want. But for as long as we don't have land, we would never realize our dream of living in a national democratic, in a national democratic society whereby all live in prosperity and, law, and all live in, in longevity. Thank you, Chair Submit. Uh, the bullies are a salna pambi. Ah, so for me. The bullies are born a banda bagolo all. Changama Africa. Eh, the Kamalam, the Muslim Fanel, Kasamsa, the Sala M. Hal, a word thirty five. Eh, the Kaling Emba, the Kal, or was sent the Kulela Panzugale Joko Kobok. What you go Bonaga, who could go sick about the Bamshop, a well is a loba mum cool. Sabonaga in bosses are good, the Katasagil. What Tata Umsaba or Coco Bet, Capanja Gamadi. Got on Amsanje. Kutua umshaba maupata adu. Engo oba anlo umshaba ganti. Abanda ba mshope basike kwa elilizwe. Benga petanga mshaba. 
abantu abamhlophe bafike kwelizwe bangaphetha ngamhlaba bafike ngoba omkhulu nenkosi zakho wethu bafike abaqatha inkosi zakho wethu nabantu bakho wethu bathatha umhlaba ayikho ke le imani ithethwa ngabantu base Europe bengahlala ape Africa mane be city makuthatha umhlaba ngaphansi kwembiyekezo sizawulamba Baba fige api zindo si zenza nga pante kwabo. Baba fige abandu silima. Baba fige imi iko lite siomba nga pante kwabo. Ndwa nika ngogeza slambizi. Nga kutate umshaba sna zanza kantitina abandu wa mnyama. Asina zanza kantitina abandu wa mnyama zogwenzu umshaba. Lobe le fige suenza. Mnandani kulelezi lalini. Dandi lulusi ngomo zikata atamu. Sininzi. Zafa. Sibula wanga abo ngo baba zanemi iti mani zitito. Kwa wabe funa sizo usebenza sizo gomba. Kalo mshaba we tu bati masupata ale na mshanti. Kandi sizi tabi. Itabi lali pezi kwa mshaba. Awa tatoyo wa ingozo sisa za kala za bomba umshabu mkile. Ita bebe sisi lilwa. Sonke ngangu upiaisi ngangu enzi ngangu. Lali pezi kwa mshaba. Goba. Funesi bu mshaba wetu maubuye. Masibu ingo mama kwa landi. Masibu ingo mama kwa landi. Epa la mente kakenye gubu kwa landi nga wanda wa mnyamu. Kakeni yako bokuwa la, bogo tinga ba umshaba, ya kutaz kuti mautaji na pande kwenbuyegez. this room there is uh, we we start that row that side uh, the man who is holding a paper and the, uh, yourself the young man with the red and yourself uh, the yellow tra track suit on the steps. Uh, 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 the lady uh, on the steps. Uh, uh. Uh, uh, we, 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 we have agreed, we have agreed that I will take the cue from the collective there. There is someone holding a jacket there. And the lady with the glasses and a cap. And there's a man uh, holding a red uh, cap at the back. Eh? Huh? Which one? Uh, yourself, yes. Uh -huh. uh -huh. 
Oh, which one? Now, you pointed. Oh, this one. Uh, How many people do we have there? Parliament staff? Huh? Huh? The gentleman with the black jacket and the black shirt. The gentleman with a black jacket and white shirt. Yeah. Uh, now we are now we are proceeding. Uh, sorry. Uh, yeah. Now we are. Proceeding. Uh, now we are proceeding according to the rules agreed by all of us. Uh, proceed. Thank you, Chair. Rumelang Bakolo, Kalibito Ki Justice Ndarambi from Mokali City, uh, Ward 23 in Melrose Drift. Kinali Kaganyo tepe difana eche. Yan cha kia kuri e. Arindiri li ana e rituoka mafasi. Ria ito kuri den rinale mafasi amangata alo kuri den a registari lwe under the trustee foundations. Mafasi ao when you do the investigations, the owner of those lands or properties, they are no longer reside in Muzanzi. Majority of them bako Holland, Netherlands, Baba Mwaba the old age home. So and then we can plead, maybe then to the committee or then this issue this issue yahore. Ma fasi alohore then they are registered under the trustee foundations here in South Africa. They are no longer having people who are residing on them. So and then even us as community leaders where we reside, when we do engagement with private, like maybe then properties. Then we found that those led are registered in the uh, trustee foundations. And when you negotiate with the trustee foundation, they will, know, uh, they will not give you, like maybe then a suitable, like maybe then go ahead, because those led are not belongs to them also. So then we advise you that you must target those led first, because those led belongs to us. Secondly, Rirata uh, Horilishabeli issued land donations agreement. Because from where I'm from in Melda's Drift, as leadership, normally what we do, we engage with our private land owners, our stakeholders, and engage with our communities in terms of like maybe then getting a solution. We've got more than eight to ten land that we have been donated. By the white people that were saying today they are not they don't want to give us land. But in Melda's Drift, we've got more than 10 lands that white people donated to African people. So then the challenge is uh, we need the bill to amend that uh, land donations because of when you negotiate with municipalities, this issue of like donating land, 
by the landowner, which is a private owner, coming like maybe then to municipality to be registered under municipality and belong to the people. It's a process where by then, as municipalities then, we don't understand that part. So we need an assistance from the bill then to assist that, that the land donation agreement can be like maybe then considered because of if we engage with like maybe then private landowners and say, I've got 100 families in my property. Now I'm giving them 10 hectares. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is General Stello. I'm from the Sam region of the Rand West, but also I'm the regional, regional executive committee member of the African National Congress Youth League in the space. Before we go any further, let me st start maybe by stating a fact that the issue of the land reform without compensation is the resolutions of the African National Congress and as a result, the African National Congress supports. But I must also state uh, such that the reason why the parliament is here on the second time is on the basis that you want to con consult with society on which clause exactly must be amended and how. Let me state that on, on, on I also believe that we should leave uh, section 25 on law 1456 and 9 as the way they, they are. Now, on law 2, I believe we must make the following amendments. A new sub 2C, which must also read as follow, I quote, subject, subject to without compensation or new compensation under condition land or laid out in a law of general application. Now only maybe also for explanation purpose, the reason for this part is also to avoid having people as we would know, there are people who just wakes up in the morning and just wants to take and grab. So, hence we are putting this law to guide the society. But also I believe that we need clearly to amend law number three. And the, the reason I strongly believe we need to amend law number three is on the basis of the fact that honestly too wrong cannot do right. And I'm saying that for a fact that on law number three, it speaks of property. Now, you say you want your land. Take your land and don't steal the property. Somebody, it's somebody's efforts to build the property or whatsoever. It's on the basis that I believe that we should amend it as follow, and I quote, where compensation is payable, the amount of the compensation and time and manner of payment must just be equitable. It's on those reasons that we do not want to be seen as stealers. Yes, they stole our land, but we can't steal what they built also. So it's on those basis that we need to pay their property. But also, I strongly believe that we must also amend clause seven, and we make it the following submission. That is for the purpose of the hearing only, the text remains as it is. But law number the eight. The time is up, my. Thank you very much. Sadwanani, Ikamalami Mulwaz Numano from Gua 28. My Angfunu Kuluma amendment is now action. Angfunu we found West Rheumatic Water Association and the Vatican issue, which is an association was amended in 1960, actually 1964, before the constitution of the country that governed the country now was amended in, uh, in 1994. Those people in the area of Western area, they own about 200 hectares of land in the Vatican area, which is about don't. Number two, they own about the uh, 300 hectares in, in Maria Fong, which is the abandoned, they don't use it. 
we say as a community of Vadebani, we are the Fort Trekel because being Fort Trekel must start by the white people whom they came with the Anfan Repiki, being the Fort Trekel to our country and take the country of our forefathers. If I might remind you, the war of a blood river in Nome, Eastern Rwanda. Those people, when they come to our country, they never beg the country to our forefathers, but they shoot them with guns and they take their land. So why today do we have to compensate the land to them? If we're going to pay for that land, so which the man is going to go to? To Jan van Rebik, when they came in the Cape of Good Hope, uninvited, our king, as my late speaker has spoken, with our king were shaken because they know those people, who they, they lie to them and they talk their hands. So you already started. So what we want to say to the parliament to say, they must come and assist to the issue of Vaterban because you already started. The, the land there in Vaterban owned by the Far West Romantic Water Association. There's people who are owning that land who's willing to take in charge of that land because we do not know who is the water association. Then... According to what we also want the parliament to assist us as well, people have been victimized. Red End was said in Vatipan to confiscate all the arrested uh, structures there by the people on the land that they, they, they abandoned. So we say, we plead to the parliament to support us on the issue so that we can see the, uh, the expropriation of land without compensation is, is happening. They must assist, come and assist the, the issue of Vatipan. Thank you. Thank you, Chair. My name is Siabonga Mbambaza, representing the Young Communist League of South Africa. Chair, we want to reaffirm. We want to reaffirm our commitment in building a, social, a socialist country by saying we love our country. Our country is the land. Socialization, socialism does not happen by accident. It emanates from the society. Expropriation of land without compensation is part of that process. Anything beside that is a cosmetic exercise. Section 25 of the Constitution of the country is an impediment towards socializations of minds. It's an impediment towards expropriation of land without compensation. Hence, we support the resolution of the African National Congress to expropriate the land without compensation. We want to make the following submissions. We want to submit that section 25, clause 1, clause 4, clause 5, clause 6, clause 9, they should remain as they eat. Clause 2, we want to make the following amendments. We want to add a subsection there. Clause 2C, and it should read as follows. Open quote. Subject to, so subject to, without compensation or nil compensation under the condition laid out in a general law of application. Clause 3, which speaks about property. Now the reason we put this of property because we understand some of the properties, including your malls are built on stolen land. Hence, we make this clause to say we make the following amendments in line with in line of the clause. Everything after the after everything after that remains the same, and it should read as follows: Where compensation is payable, the amount of compensation and time and manner of payment must be just and equitable. On clause seven. The purpose that of the following of the hearings, only the text remains. Clause eight, we make the following amendment in the following line. And I quote, no provision of this section, including the payment of compensation, may be impede, may impede the state. Now, the reason we make this, 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 those proposals come the chair is because we are inspired by the Palestinians who wake up daily as we speak right now, it's morning. They are up in arms fighting for their land in Israel. Thank you very much. Uh, 
Nyawanga Chapeze, Kamala Mumupi, Livan Kabind. Chapeze, I'm from 12 Foreign West City. I think my cap speaks a lot. So, Chapeze, we're from Nazareth. And as the member of the ANC, I abide by the rules or resolutions of the Organization and National Conference that speaks about land expropriation without compensation. I totally, I feel like totally guilty on this. Chairperson, I'm sitting here worried and actually concerned for the good. Chairperson, ask yourself why there was infertility. Do you think Saga just walk around and killing people for fun? You come back. Do you think the likes of Oriva Tambo, the likes of Utata Mandela? I think now my name, my name is so they are turning in their grave. Because in Zala Ngatina. Those people, they never went to exile. For Uta to ring us as a Konuksera toilet in the Oost Desert. They never went there to for, for that thing. The only thing that people fought for, it was land. We can't come here go to 2020. But it's not Oost Desert, but it's not Oost Desert. So, you in Parliament today, you must start asking yourself what in the funa and then the unlab. Last time you were you were you were debating you were, you were debating the accusation is the GPV at our expense. Stop playing with us. Actually, I think now we should change this tone. You know, I think you must not come this time now. Let's bring the women's rights commission. I think it's time, man. I need to get more shanga maketa. I need to get the parliament to change maketa. Senator Chalu boss shanga it. Yen sale la panga maketa. Yen be no boss shanga news when we over woman dey la babe zwa la pe Robin Allen. I'm from Pegasdal. Pegasdal is becoming a ghost town. Since this razor into your club, Pegasdal is becoming a ghost town. Can you spell your club? Are you going to just my ears and apart from club? Actually, actually, you don't take us seriously in the parliament. Our dignity is at stake. Like. Can you please bring us our can you please bring our dignity back? What are you useless as we are today because of um club? The simple thing, um club. How many bank parties are in parliament? The only thing in here is you go come back to parliament. The only thing that you know. The only thing if I you debate a lapum tava, ni debate in ni debate to just my thing is. You don't mind the thing say ni just go spend um tava wait. Ye kani lenti o tok dalangat. Thank you, Chair. Uh, my name is Mwafu Dumi uh, Order, order, please. Order, 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 please. Order, order. My name is Mwatu Dimulefe. I'm from Wat 32 in Grand West Municipality. I'm here in my capacity as the Houghton Coordinator of the Assembly of the Unemployed, which visited you during your budget speech. Uh, please, let's listen to the speaker on the floor. Uh, let's listen to the speaker on the floor. Raise your voice and speak into the mic. And I'm also here in my capacity as the chairperson of the Western Independent Residents Association. Uh, chairperson, the issue or the question of the land, the question of Azania, the land of Zanj, the land of black people. Chair, we are supposed to be here today to come and speak about the amendment of section 25 of the Constitution. I would like to say to you, 
By the way, we know that the dispossession of black people in this country of their land, it's a colonial issue. And the type of approach one has observed with the current parliamentary process on Section 25 is the one that reinforces the tendencies of colonialism, which wants to prescribe to people how to look at the land issue. Now, I want to say to you, from where we stand as we are, Chair, you know the democratic space offers everyone the right to speak and speak their mind for that matter. Now, I want to say the only amendment that we as the West Rand Independent Residents Association wants to make to this particular question that arises out of a source problem, which is the constitution of the so-called Republic of South Africa, is that the one amendment we are bringing to the table, abolish section 25, allow our people to identify land where they want to occupy it, and allow them to occupy, provide them with the necessary utilities of the land, because to us, Land represents unemployment, land, rep land dispossession represents unemployment, it represents the very problem we are discussing today. So there is in no way that we want to be prescribed in terms of how we should think. We are therefore saying to you, we are not necessarily agreed with whether you want to amend section 25 or not. We are saying abolish section 25 and allow the indigenous rightful owners of the land to occupy thank you, the land. Thank you very much. To Madam Montlong, Kalibitoke, California, Masule, West Rand, Dot 5. Uh, I support submit on section 25, 1, 4, 5, 6, and 9. Uh, I remember Kana Kontele. I'm young, but old enough. Yes. Uh, like comrade I'm concerned I just want a piece of land where I can put my family. The Native Land Act of 1913 restricted black people from buying, renting a land. White South Africa lending a force to removal. Our blacks, our youth, uh, Whatever, Harna Gorta Balang Banabarona did. Coroco di Colon, Hokashava di Colosa Maco, Banali Lent, the Evacan Banani Sports Complex. Into M. Happy M. Quat M. Kutu Sambo Tok, Ken Totta at a housing. Always a hot Totons of Wahi, Hata Hona Lent. The three hundred that said in Suang, how Fonella, go housing Hato Grayling, dear guy. Why is a patele yone lente eu? Thank you. Thank you, Chair. Levito Lava Kina Pule, Okreti Le Rakoma, Ketuakome Rafongo three, Ket French Chepesi Nikoya EFF. Chair, I'm going to read this paper again because we want to instill it because it's our submission so that this paper must be recognized by the committee. In 2018, Parliament was here, and we made a submission. We told you to go and change the law so that we can expropriate the land without compensation. Why are you here? Because you are wasting taxpayers' money. Since you are here, this is our submission. Section 25 of the Constitution must be amended to read as follows. The state, including Parliament, executive, and judiciary, carry an obligation to redress imbalances of the past through enactment of laws that will achieve redress 
and it redress and equitably, equitably redistribute, redistribute all resources. Property may be expropriated without compensation only in terms of law of general application or a public purpose or in the public interest. Now, we want subsection three of this section to be replaced with a statement. The state should be the custodian of South Africa's natural resources, inclusive of land, mineral resources, and water, and relevant legislation, legislation should be passed to clearly define and contextualize state custodianship of natural resources. Now, why we want the state to be the custodianship of, of this land? It's because the people who own the majority of the land of South Africa are very arrogant. I will make an example. Afri Forum was here this morning because what is important to them is to exploit the black child of this uh, uh, land. They went home. They are going to supervise them to see if they are doing a good job for them. They did not want to listen to our cries as they, learned, they, they own most of the land. They are not here. They made their assumption and they are their submissions and they are gone. Now, the other point I want to make, I'm from Merafong, as I said. Merafong is still it's in Western End. In the first case of Western End is to go to Northwest. So Merafong, most of it, most of the land that is not owned by the municipality or the government. It's owned by, it's owned by a, an association owned by, owned by the one monopoly through the, 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 an association called the Western Tolomatic Association. That Tolomatic Association, it only working kidi mine, mining companies like your Sibanye, your, 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 your gold fields and others. Now, that land mostly it's farms. And in Rona, as black people, we are congested in this squatter camps. We are contested in the townships. They call them ghettos and whatever. Now, the other issue is that the land, if the state is the custodianship, I will make I will make one submission is that it is a, a solution for human settlement. Armameling, Armameling, eh, Armameling Madume. Kerikia du Medisare Morarisi, Liva Dirim Moholo and Amo. Kalina, Kicha of Tamon Tat. It's all a fasi kile kamu hatikila to come srese lavara. Lele sati we mo may be. Mais c'est là qu'on a les tibes, mon mépé. Qui aime y en a de mon rari ici. Ma papi li tire le moho loué, n'a rien qu'on aurait compagné de ce qu'il y a eu. Dis-moi, quand c'est le temps de fiti l'en télé, on a eu qu'il y a eu. Ou à toi, c'est un peu de sauter, c'est un peu de sauter, c'est un peu de sauter. Il y a eu qu'il y a eu, c'est un peu de sauter. Au ton fagnon. Ah, ma diale kheto la ba toba ka ofele. Kho mona ke mo wena ntso ta o le senya joana. O ba no o ja di dipompong ka hore. Ha o khone go ru ke ma dia o tlo afe bon khono ba rona le bontate mogolo. Wena o tla moto no senya o senya tswe la pedi. Re ke fete mo re mo rarisi. Let's let's listen. Let's listen. Proceed. Mori kwa panetu kuhur, rebata, le fati laro na la bunifu tataru na mohul, le lugor bali direte katha tara, section twenty five, harisa tolerere, dula fati ra, oho ingwa, ra demand ya nu, reza demand mohuwe, kasi siva, ra demand, ra we, mohuyo ne section twenty five. Rekopa hor, section three, oh we shoot, ubo e de hape, kaya ne section three, wangutwa, eno hor, ibu la laka, di di tirelo tarona, meti arona, le hati labo rarona, wakusi zaraicho, kia rekopa kasi sebak, 
How can you have a 2022? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Come on, come on. 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 Ba owner di mine ro na ba Africa harina e percentage harina di shares mo di mine cook one cook two cook three di a own you kona no ba rawe si na relevu ilenta te relevu ilen thank you chairperson his name is Jafta and he's very thankful that you are here with your with the committee. He is a raise, raising a concern about the land that belongs to, to the Kalats, which is being referred to to Koms Res. And then further, he says, in 2018, you were here, Chairperson. Is it really nice for you to come here enjoying taxpayers' money by buying sweets and niceties? We want land. We demand land, and then he further suggests that with section three of the constitution, it must be removed and be replaced by section 23. And he, and he is requesting you, please, Chairperson. And then if you come here again in 2022, I'm telling you, Chairperson, hell will break loose. <laughs> and then lastly, he's complaining about the issue that it is only whites who own land, who own land, whereas blacks don't own land. And then he wants uh, that uh, blacks should own land, but he is for the opinion of Section 25 should be amend amended. Thank you very much. Our interpreters interpret without fear or favor of the chairperson. They represent you very well. Mandibonga, Mshane Ngapambi. Di kashele nkosini. Kubaga no mshabalo nukona pa ima kosini. Njue siya zioleyo. Mandi ngayiku uteke Mshane Ngapambi. ANC kuma resolution zwa. It's not confused. ANC Kuma Resolution Zwa is not contradicting itself and is not even confusing the country. Is not confusing even the people of South Africa. Then it's clear. Let me then go straight to the amendments, Chair. So much that mustn't waste time. You see, Chair, if I go here, what I like about the African National, National Congress, it teaches you get morals, no values, no norms. This is what I like about it. Again, it talks of yourself. Go to a charity begins at home. Then ANC endorses that. We submitted that as the, as the ANC. That on section 25 clauses 1 4 5 Six or to fear nine should remain as they are. Then we are not confused. Clause two. We made the following amendment. Add the new sub to C. We're not confused. Which must read as follows. Subject to without compensation or nil compensation 
and that condition is laid out in a law of general applications. Close three. We speak about property. We make the following amendment to the first line of the clause. Everything after the remains remains that sum to read as follows. Where compensation is payable, the amount of the compensation and the time and manner of payment must be just and equitable. Clause seven. We make the following submissions. Uh, Depending. Uh, please. Oh, no, your time is up. Please, thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Honorable Chairperson, in Zolo, in Zolo, Band Bagot, Ubalegile, Ubalegile, Ndoba, Sitonipan, Sitobelan, Simbamelan, Wonke Umtu Apa, Ukwamakela Wabo, Bateti. I come to, eh, I come to Olapa Ono Puma Atinoko, I listen like a alpha galang. Sit there like a bantu baguti, gemfume yen. Ustalo, I sit in Denze, I listen lombulet. Bandenge in Jalon, Diti Enkos. Si la panche, si ad hoc committee on the amendment of section 25. I parliament is a coupe, ubasis obazin lebe, nelis lomzans Africa. Si la pake, si afuna wikin seki sa indoti, asipritanga tresha lenu. Singa changa mali ye taxpayers. Kumbulani luntulaguti indoba i fifth parliament. Umsebenzwayo ibi kuku kenseki sa indoba siye vana ke expropriation without compensation. Sinivile Go chigelezo umzans Africanicity ewe ni aufuna umshaba wo koko be. Saibuisela Londo e parlamente si city uluntu la sem zans Africa li nami le lifunum shab. Be city masu tate um shaba kapanje Londo ke iparlamente ipinde yathi kwelqela sikulo le six parliament pindani niyeni ebantwini niyo sabela uba yintoni phakanye kanye ku section 25 bafuna into ba ichinjwe isuse icinywe kufakwe intoni endaweni yayo ilondo ke E parlamente yenu isitume apa uba sizo sabela kuni. Asizu suke e parlamente sitime i constitution singe zanga kuni ngoba si consultative democracy. Ibaleki ileke londo yoba sibeno bungina yoba sizile ebantwin. Yolondo ubona Inko keli ezi nyulwe nini, zikeli apa, zinbegezele, zizi nigei kresha, loba zisabele yonke indo ibitetega apa. Londo ke siafuna uti mkosikuni genkubo nibenayo, 
Nendlela nempatho eniziphethe ngayo. Che. Che. Onto ke uqolo. Uqolo. Bestelo khuluma something. Uqolo. Can you say something? Wait. Uqolo kancinci. Can you say something? Uqolo kancinci. Bendithe kuni kubalekile uthobelana. Besithe kuni kubalekile uthobelana nohloniphana. Gel kaisha abantu bebe teta apa. Ako no mnyewe tu abasheli apa ezanzi. Nabasheli apa itafulini. Abaye embogwe ni baku uta umbogo ni teta. Balegi ilege indo ba sitonipane. Sitobelane. Koba. Apa umsebenzi. Besu utunyiwe suwenzi. Sifunu kinsegi sage kuni into ba yonke into ibitetega apa irekodishiwe. Yonke into ibivagala apa ipaliwe. Yonke into ibitetega apa ifilimi. Siza ufika sibe bubunga ina balenta lonente taya bantu base western area. Kalo mazwi siti enkos siabulen kamandi. Nibe nenche la enche kwinche leni zaitabata ukotuga apa ezinche leni. Siabule.